Hey, hey, what is up everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, it's time to do an RC Room Tour 2021. Every year, I like to do a little RC tour of my RC room, show off the, the, the room and maybe some new vehicles I have and stuff like that. But this <laughs> is the room. I have all my RCs parts everything here in this room and uh it's not just that <laughs> going over over coming on over there we go the main collection of my rcs i don't have a lot of rcs but i got a pretty good little small collection going on uh also over here how cool is this my friends i have a microwave and refrigerator here in the rc room that way, if I ever get hungry or thirsty, I don't have to go all the way to the kitchen. I can go right here, grab me a drink, and uh, it should be fairly well stocked. I'm a Coca-Cola fan. I love having some Coke. Oh, Coca-Cola. All right. <laughs> but uh, I always have drinks for myself and a little bubbly. You've got to have some bubbly in your refrigerator. You know, I know it's supposed to have beer, but yeah, I don't brew too much of uh, beer drinking. But yeah, so uh, as you see, I got microwave there. One of my things, my friends, I love having popcorn. All right, I'm a popcorn fan, and especially with the Pop Secret Movie Theater Butter. This is the best microwave popcorn you get. Now, I'm going to give you my little secret on what I do when I cook it, all right? So I have a 900 watt uh, microwave. Now I set it for one minute and 40 seconds. This will cook the popcorn without burning it. It will cook all the kernels so you get every bit of what's in the bag. <laughs> so yeah. So let's go ahead and turn around here. Sorry it's spinning so fast. So. Let me give you the tour all the way around. We'll start We'll start here and then work our way around. Okay. So first off, let's talk about the wall art or what I like to call memory lane. These are all the box labels, the front of the boxes of all the vehicles that I had in the last 10 years. Now there are some that are missing that I did not collect back then. But uh, this right here is just a friendly reminder of all the vehicles I had in the past and the present. And it just makes the room look so much cooler uh, with having RC wall art. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So here it is the big humongous computer desk I have. As you see, I have two computers. Why do I have two computers on uh, here in the room? All right. So the first one which is my Acer right here. The editing software that I like to use for doing my videos is on that one right there. And then I have the HP right there, the Hewlett Packard one. That is my computer that I would do my photography and film work on that. And I want to keep those separate. I want to keep my photography separate than my RC stuff. So all my RC films and stuff like that is on the Acer and all of my photography and film work that I do for people is on the Hewlett Packard there. All right, focus there, focus. All right, uh, see also just got a few things up there. Also, this is where I store a lot of my manuals and stuff like that, uh, some camera equipment. And as you see, you got this nice little scale trailer here. One of my buddies built for me. I uh, featured it one time here on the channel uh, with uh, Unleashing Project Killer, or Spider Monkey, I like to call it. And I hadn't uh, done a complete video on this. I'm actually going to be doing a uh, uh, a video on that of, you know, <laughs> getting, it, uh, getting all squared off and everything. Uh, up here, got one of my... I think my first wooden RC boat, I've actually built two of these. Uh, I think I actually sold the one that I did build the first one. This was a second one. But uh, these are from, uh, 
Latino, Ottatino, some some kind of uh, Italian brand, and uh, it was years ago. I wanted to get into building scale RC boats. And I found these kits, and they were seen pretty good and fairly easy to put together. I've never really done it myself, but I decided to do them, so I got two of those. The uh, fishing trawler here, Atlantis, I think it is. I actually had some trouble with that one. The wood started breaking on me and stuff like that. So I was like, well, <laughs> I'm just going to trash this thing, but keep the box as a reminder. But I did end up taking pieces from the fishing trawler and adapted it onto the Samson tugboat, which is that one right here. Now, I don't have that one because I actually made it into like a fishing trawler tugboat. It looks extremely awesome, but I don't have that vehicle anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, up here I got the DJI drone, Phantom 3, and uh, I hadn't ran this one in quite some time. I actually uh, had a little mishap while I was up in the uh, Tennessee mountains. It had some interference and crashed into a tree, and I just need to rebuild it. I have the parts and everything to rebuild it. It's just trying to get you know the time to do it or getting back into doing that. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. All right, so over here is the RC workstation, my friends. This is where another place that I spent a great deal of time at is working on the RCs and also some of the builds and other things as well. Now, one of the things, as you can see, is that I am a very organized person. Like, I'm not OCD, like extremely OCD or anything. I just like to have stuff organized so it's easier for me to find what I'm looking for when I'm working on the vehicles and stuff like that. But just give you a close up view. Now this part right here, I usually take this down when I'm doing uh, videos of working on the vehicles or, you know, talking and stuff. I usually take it down so it shows RC84 films. That was another sign that my buddy uh, Christopher Cannon made, uh, one who made this trailer. He made that really cool sign, so I appreciate that. But, yep. Yeah. So I got all my tools and everything all nice and neat so I can grab them whenever I need. Uh, the stand, I've actually bought this, this work stand at, believe it or not, <laughs> Harbor Freight Tools. And it's probably one of the best things that I have bought from Harbor Freight. I mean, I could have spent a little bit more money and get a better desk, but uh, this one has really grown on me. I really like it. Uh, you know, it's nothing fancy or anything. It does have, you know, a little three prong outlet on the side of it, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, definitely has a lot of storage. Uh, let's take, take a look at it. So, uh, like I said, I got everything right where I need it. You know, all my, you know, little bolts and nuts and screws and stuff like that. So that's right there. Open up that. Like I said, everything's kind of organized. Heat shrink, zip ties, a Dremlin. I like to keep that all uh, organized there. Of course, down below, we got some more stuff as well. Uh, look at top here. I got some of the uh, construction vehicles that I have not used in uh, quite some time, actually. Uh, these are a lot of fun, but uh, these are like way back in the day when I was first starting out with the hobby and stuff like that. But I do love the excavator that thing is just totally fun to draw uh, to operate it's kind of crazy but yeah <laughs> all right so over here this thing right here i like to call the rc carousel because this was an old sunglass display uh that i got off of facebook market there and uh it actually turned out to be really good i can uh basically converted over to holding my RC part. So I got all my controllers there, all the way down. Got some uh, spare parts, extra parts, all my uh, ESCs, motors. Uh, there's the element chassis. <laughs> uh, more parts right there for all my vehicles. Uh, over here is all of the batteries I have and I have it all kind of like categorized, like two cell, two cell, going down to three, three cells, and so on. And then the small battery packs and stuff like that. So uh, that is the <clears throat> uh, 
carousel there. <laughs> so really cool idea to uh, use if you want to save up some space there in your room or shop there. Now let's take a look at the newest item that I added into the room. And this is also what I did over the weekend as well, other than cleaning out, was making room for this really cool, but very old uh, <laughs> entertainment stand. So my, uh, my dad ended up getting a new TV and he's like, I got this. He's like, I don't really want to get rid of it, but he's like, oh, <sighs> focus camera. <laughs> but uh, he ended up giving me this and uh, I was very skeptical about using it. I didn't know if it was going to fit well in here or what. The camera really wants to focus, so we're going to go switch to manual mode so we won't have that problem. All right. So like I said, I wasn't really sure about this thing, but now I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah, I like it. It definitely helps me store a little, you know, the vehicles and just makes it look like so cool to be on display. So, yeah. So, but it works out well. All my vehicles are up there. The tanks, more of my vehicles. Like I said, I don't have a huge collection like some of y'all. Some people I've seen has, has humongous collections for like wall-to-wall -wall RCs. I don't have that. So, uh, but yeah, but I was uh, actually using this storage rack for my RCs and it worked out perfectly. But like I said, I decided to use this instead and it worked out really great. So, yeah. And yeah, so the storage rack, I think I showed you all that. <laughs> Can't remember. But uh, the storage rack here has all of my detail equipment because uh, my weekend side work that I do, I do auto detailing on the weekends to earn some extra cash. And so uh, I have all my stuff in here because I don't want to tend to put it out in the outside or in a building there because a lot of chemicals need to be kept uh, in kind of a climate control area dealing with waxes and polishes and stuff like that. You want to make sure that that stuff uh, is in cool temperatures, not sitting out sweating and, you know, losing its oomph and everything. But yeah. So yeah, vacuum cleaner, detail box, all that stuff right there. Uh, also got the studio lights here. That's what I usually to, uh, use here in the RC room when I'm filming videos, something like that, or working on the vehicles. I have them put up there. Um, and uh, these have been really great lights. I've had them for a long time. I can't remember how long I had these things, but they've been uh, definitely uh, well worth the money. And eventually I'm going to need to replace these things because they are getting old. Uh, one of the balancers is out. So like this one right here, there's four lights inside. These two over here are, are completely gone. So I only got two there. Uh, so they're eventually starting to short out. So I have to get some new ones here very soon, but, uh, I'll cross that road when it gets there. But I think that's it. My friends, <laughs> I think I showed everything in the room here, but, uh, this is it. My friends, this is the RC room. And here's the funny story. All right. So this is the master bedroom in the house. All right. Well, one of the master bedrooms, there's two master bedrooms in the house. Now this actually used to be my bedroom. All right. I had a master bedroom and this was it. But for years I was running out of one of the small rooms here in the house and I started outgrowing that room. I had so many RCs and the film equipment and along with my detail stuff. I was like, I got to do something. So I was like, you know what? I got a big old room. It's just me. I don't have a wife. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have kids. So I was like, I don't need a big room. I don't, I just need my bed, dresser, and my TV. That's all I need in my bedroom. So I was like, yeah, I'll just give up my bedroom, downsize into a small bedroom so I can just have my <laughs> my bed, a TV and my dresser. And then I'll take the master bedroom and make it my RC room. And here it is now. <laughs> so, but yeah, 
I love it here, my friends. It is really awesome room. A lot of my friends are really jealous of the room because they're like, man, it's just like you walk in here, you feel like you're walking into a hobby shop because of everything, like the cars are all on display, looking great and stuff like that. And then I got the work area and then my entertainment area and then the, my <laughs> food lounge. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So... There you go, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this little RC tour room of my RC room. Uh, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. You think you really like this or you think, hey, uh, <laughs> let me know what you think. So, comment down below. Let me know what you think about my little RC heaven, if you want to say. <laughs> All right, my friends. So, thank you all again for watching. Thank you for subscribing and everything that you guys do for me. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. If, you, if you're a longtime subscriber, hey, thank you for staying with me for so long. If you're a newbie subscriber, hey, thank you again for subscribing to my channel. You know, I always say that when you subscribe to my channel, you're not just subscribing to the channel. You're not just a subscriber. You are a supporter. You're supporting me in what I do. And so I appreciate each and every one of y'all for supporting me and what I like doing. You know, I do this channel not for the fame or the popularity. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for nothing like that. I don't, I don't do it to see how many subscribers and comments I can get on the, uh, on the videos and the channels. I do it strictly out of the love of the hobby. I love this hobby and I love filmmaking It's one of my passions that I have for many, many years now. And, uh, when I can combine two of my favorite things together, my photography, my video work and the RCs, it's priceless to me. And I just don't care to make money. I mean, if I make something off my videos, Hey, that's great. I could always definitely use it, but I'm not really looking for it, but, uh, yeah. All right, my friends. Well, now I'm going to let you go. Thank you again for watching, and I will see y'all later.